Hello friends, welcome to BMI Masterclass. In today's Masterclass, I'll be discussing something that is very obvious in Africa and Nigeria in particular. They call it setback. <laughs> How do we handle setback when it occurs? Because it's surely going to occur. When we're talking about setback, I'm talking about financial setback. If today people are jumping from a lofty height and taking their lives, or jumping inside water or taking uh, drugs to, to kill themselves when they have financial setback. What will happen in the near future when our children, the one they call the Gen Z's, begins to grow to take positions and uh, handle things themselves? It's going to be going to be a disaster. So the best thing to do is to begin now to teach those children what I call resilience so today i'll be talking on resilience resilience is ability to bounce back from a setback a financial setback how what are the benefits of resilience if someone builds resilience that person we create ability to withstand shock ability to still reinvent themselves when anything occurs. Resilience helps for self-confidence. Resilience helps for the self-esteem of a child. If you don't teach children how to handle failure, when they fail, they think they would, the best is to take their lives. Remember in my last discussion, I was talking about reliance, how that the children are being pampered. And if they don't see you around, parents, what will be their decision when they face any financial setback? So but if from today, you begin to teach them on resilience, the skill, they develop this skill, then they can handle any setback going forward. And these things are embedded in entrepreneurship education. An entrepreneur is someone who knows how to rediscover himself and will come back, you know, despite any financial failure or setback. So financial education is very important with the young. They begin now to, you know, build how to handle failure when it occurs in their lives, even when their parents are not available to help them or to advise. So how do you do that? First of all, by practicing. Shall I begin to practice? You know, shall I begin to solve problems? Problem solving, failures. Most of the people that invented this today were people who were able to handle failures. So our children, if we want our children or to build a society that will be, that will be devoid of suicide, we need to teach children resilience, and it is embedded in entrepreneurship skill. So, subject your children to entrepreneurship education to build resilience. This is where I'll be stopping today, and I hope to draw further nuggets as we move on. Thank you. BMI, BMI. Finishing School.